Pierre, you want to come out here? <laughs> yeah. Hit the store, I'm Millie Rob. Uh -huh. And I got that Glock. Yeah. Come across me, won't yeah. hesitate, I let it pop. Ooh. Screaming, fuck the ops. Cause they book my pops. Uh -huh. But he coming home soon, I'ma blow up and you just watch. T.Y. Yeah. to on fire, I mean. Yeah, me. Show y'all niggas how I'm coming, son of a felon on the way. Free on my fucking way. dad. My semi pop on any block. Hit the sewer through the ditty bop. Oh. Got a Mac 11, hit you 20 times. Yeah. Make you hold him, shake it through the Millie Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No rats with me, never been a hop. If you're not with me when I'm grinding, don't come to eat when it's dinner time. Uh -huh. Don't need you, I'ma get mine. Uh -huh. AOG got my own grind. Coming up on my own shine. You wanna make moves? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't rush me, I'm on my own time. Like I shot a hitty, I'ma chase mine. Got money calling through the grapevine. When it comes to chicken, I don't waste time. You niggas are slow. slow. Stop up your dough. Ain't no way ass nigga, you doing the most. Doing I the wanna most. hit bros, I wanna do shows. Hey baby, these take off their clothes. That's whoa. how I go, as far as I know. Whoa. I'm a young nigga from Northfield, pay the whole price, I don't do deals. Got your bitch singing like Drew Hill, she gon' tell me how that two feels. Yeah. She say, T.Y., you too real, yeah. cause I beat the pussy like Mike Will. Yeah. Getting money like light bills, I can yeah, wear the money, yeah, got a nice yeah, feel, yeah. woo! Yo, yo, YouTube. Y'all know who it is, man. This shit. Wait, you don't know who this is. Hold on. <laughs> it's a whole new channel, it's a whole new year. It's the same old... Scheme though, but y'all know who it is, man. This your boy Scheme, and I'm here with the first video on a new channel. Had to make a new channel. Not gonna get into the reason why I did it, but I'm I'm back on this YouTube scene, but with the new channel, and I'm here just to do what I've been doing since I've been doing videos for this 2K stuff. Like I told myself, I was done with making videos for 2K. 2K was was really trash. But it's like I've been playing 2K a lot lately. Like the past couple of days, I think it's the past couple of days, past, past couple of weeks, I've been really locked in on this game and really been playing and actually having fun playing. And it's like, <laughs> I don't get it. Why am I enjoying this game so much? But the video I got for y'all is basically the best badge setup for a center. Because a lot of y'all centers out here, I don't, I don't know what badges to really put in your center. I've been looking at a lot of these centers in this park and y'all badges look real atrocious i'll be confused on why i set y'all badges up that way but in the beginning of this video y'all gonna peep y'all peep the stuff that i do i'm throwing bodies with screens i'm able to contest on defense and get amazing blocks snatch blocks on top of that chase down blocks on top of that i'm very fast on defense as well and look i am a power forward you see it i am a power forward very agile i can play defense in and out of the paint and I don't even have my stuff that high up. And I'm only 97 overall right now. So I got two more overalls to go to get my last plus two. But I'm going to show you how the bad setup. And if y'all really want to know how to make this paint beast build and make it the right way, I made mine the wrong way just a little bit. The one thing I would change, my badges would still be the same amount. But it's one thing I would change on this player. And I'll tell you that in the video I drop tomorrow. Because I'm about to start this daily upload, John. I'm about to get this channel lit. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get back to what I used to do. And these streams, they come in too. But I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream on here, if I'm going to stream on Twitch just yet. But I'm thinking about it. But let me show y'all the best defensive badges set up. And mind you, I'm a 22 badge power forward. Not 30. I don't run 30. But 22 is a good little sweet spot. It's like a little extra. But I feel like just for me, my place, I only need 20. But I'm going to show y'all the best badge setup that I run. Now we're going to start off with the Hall of Fame badges first. Rebound Chaser. The reason why I throw this on Hall of Fame is it's like, I don't, on this build, I don't have the highest defensive offensive rebound. So I do need that extra notch of help for my rebounds, even though I know how to get a rebound. I know how to box out and I know how to secure a board. So I run it on Hall of Fame just to give me that little extra bit of help because I don't have the highest tier rebound. I think right now my player got like a 91 defensive offensive rebound as well. So it's like, it's a 90 something, but it's not 99 like most of these paint beats that everybody made that has the 99 defensive rebound. Now next, I was running silver rim protector because i feel like i got more blocks the reason why i switched is because with silver hall of fame i get the same amount of blocks and it feels good but with hall of fame it's what gets you that more towards your takeover that's the reason why i ran the rim protector on hall of fame to get that more that real extra man amount on takeover the amount of blocks i usually get in the game so that's when i'm playing part when i play against a lot of slashes or finish and stuff like that I probably get about two, but I could say one and a half, maybe two blocks, and it helps toward my takeover. Not just mine, but it goes towards my team takeover, my team's takeover as well. So you improve the ability to block shots, gets boosted to the takeover meter for blocker and the teammate. 
And the last one I run is pogo stick. Now the reason I run a pogo stick, usually I don't do crazy amount of jumping. But lately, I've been running into a lot of teams that run more than one inside player. So I need to be able to compete with both sides. It'd be like one shooter and two inside players. So it's like I'm having my guards up top guarding ball, and I handle paint. Me being able to contest both of the people down there helps me out a good, good amount. And then being able to basically just jump as many amount of times as I can in good succession is the reason why I run on Hall of Fame. Now, for my gold badges, I found a sweet spot for brick wall. At first, I used to run no brick wall and I would stay good screens. If you're a center and you have a good strength and you know how to set a screen, brick wall, you really don't need a brick wall. But brick wall is mainly to drain the energy from the opponent. Mainly, like you can set a screen and not run brick walls, you just won't be draining energy from them. But the higher it is, the more energy you take. But I feel like I set stronger, stickier screens when I run gold brick wall on top of the iron wall that I have in park already, which gives you the animation to throw a person running against, running against you. They got low strength, you got a good chance of throwing them to the ground. So, gold brick wall is a sweet spot for me. If I was to switch back and forth, I usually go between gold and bronze if I want to change something else. But Next gold badge, Gold Intimidator. I used to run Hall of Fame Intimidator, but I had to move that to a different region for a badge because this badge makes me move a lot faster and helps me read the defense a little bit better. We'll get into that. It's a bronze badge now. We'll get into that later. But so I put on Gold Intimidator basically for that little extra bit of help on defense. Like, call them to miss more shots often and dunks and stuff like that. You're just like basically intimidating. It's like, it gives you that little extra bit of help if you can't get the block, pretty much. Now, for the only silver badge I have on is Interceptor. I put on Interceptor because I feel like when you don't have Interceptor on at all, you can reach for the ball to be in the passing lanes. You won't get the steal. You get a lot of tip passes. I still get a decent amount of tip passes with Silver Interceptor. I wish I could have it on gold. So, usually when I go around and I switch something around, I put this on bronze, I put this on gold, and I put this on Hall of Fame. That's when I go back and forth with how my badge is set up. So it's either I run the Hall of Fame Intimidator, Bronze, Brick Wall, and the Gold Interceptor, or I run the Gold here, the Silver here, and the Gold here. But this is my sweet spot of where I set up. I'm, when I play threes, this is what I run. But when I run twos, this is how I got it set up. This is how I got it set up for twos. That's how I'm going to run it for twos. Actually, no, it's not how I run it for twos. This is how I run it for twos. Yep, that's how I run it on twos. Because on twos, I don't need chase down artists. But... Y'all seen how it just was, how I just had it. This is my setup for threes, and that was my setup for twos. Um, what was I now I'm at my bronze badge. Now, bronze badge, chase down artists. I don't put chase down artists up too high because even with bronze, you get an amazing amount of chase down blocks with just bronze. So I run it just on bronze just to be able to give me that extra bit of help when I'm chasing something down on a fast break. And I use it on threes because usually my teammates missing, they hawking it down the court. I'm hawking them coming for that block. So that's why I run on bronze. And my favorite badge I like to use, which I have more badge points, I will put this up higher. It's lightning reflexes. This badge was so slept on. I never understood this badge, but it, you really, you really, when you put it on, you feel the difference. It basically says gives the defender an advantage to read where the ball handle is going in the read and react system. In the beginning, it's a clip up there where you see me basically moving back and forth, basically playing the heavy hedge on defense with my guard. Heavy hedging, so basically if he gets stuck on the screen, I'm helping out his man. I'm giving a hard read, a hard pickup, but I'm also able to slide back and play defense on my man at the same time. That's what those right lightning reflexes is for, making me move a little bit better, and I can read and react a lot better. And it also helps me if I'm like backpedaling and somebody comes behind me, it helps me be able to turn around a little bit better, move a little bit faster to get back on that one defense, and I'm not sitting there sliding backwards with my hands up. This is my bad setup. Could I use more badges? I, I, don't, I really don't need more badges, but if I got more, I would use it. Like, if I was to hit Legend and have 32, it's a crazy amount of badges because I can use it. I, I don't need them, but extra badges would never hurt anybody. But this is my badge setup. This is my sweet spot for badges for 22 defensive and rebounding badges. If you have any questions on any of the badges that I use on anything, you can hit me up in the comment section below. Or if you want... In the overlay that I got at the bottom, you you got my Instagram. You can hit me up on there, or you can hit me up on TikTok. TikTok, you can probably you can definitely hit me up on there. I'll answer a lot more in there. And my Instagram is mainly just for people that just want to follow and see what I do outside on the outside world, and with my music and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. 
my first video for the new channel. I plan to keep posting more videos. I got some very, way more informative videos. I got some crazy builds that I'm going to drop as well. And I will be throwing them streams as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this video was helpful for y'all. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on a grind to the first 100 subscribers. I'm at two right now. But we grind after that first 100. I'm just being able to grind from a small number. But I'm going to really be consistent with it this time. I'm going to really do what I got to do. But excuse me. It's been your boy Scheme. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out.